Good morning. We're at another round. Same time of the day. Same clothes. Same day of this recording. Anyway, welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Thursday, uh, May 13th, the sixth Thursday of Easter. And it's a big day, actually. Um, it is the solemnity of the ascension of the Lord when... Um, yeah, Jesus sends down his Holy Spirit to the apostles, and then he ascends up to heaven um, in physical form, and he is no longer with us. Um, so that is the, the celebration of today. And it's also the memorial of Our Lady of Fatima, which is when our Mother Mary appeared to three shepherd children in Portugal back in 1917, multiple times. Again, so that's kind of a big deal. Um, it is a big deal. One of the most popular apparitions and well-known apparitions of, of our Blessed Mother Mary. Um, so um, that is, uh, that's what today is, and we'll go straight to the gospel. Today's gospel is from Mark chapter 16, verses 15 through 20. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the, on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. Wait, maybe I was wrong. I don't think it's Pentecost yet. No, it's not. Anyway, so we've got the the commissioning of the eleven right now, and Jesus is telling them what you know what they what he expects them. Um, he's done his teaching. He's appeared. He's making sure that there's no question in their minds and their hearts, their whole being, that he wasn't and isn't who he says that he is. Um, and he is saying that whoever, you know, that he is commissioning them. He is telling them to go spread the gospel. And just, you know, without these guys doing this, just, it's, you know, how great of a job did they do? I mean, it's pretty awesome of, the, of just how massive Christianity spread throughout the world um, based upon these 11. And then just branches out after that, you know. So um, we, it's something we take for granted, I think, especially if you were born Christian. Um, no matter if you're Catholic or not, you're born Christian. Um, I think we take that for granted. I know I do a lot. Um, but anyway, Jesus is making sure that, you know, there, those that believe and go preach and live the life of the gospels, that they're going to be saved. Um, and he also says that, you know, if they pick up serpents and they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. From my understanding, like he's not so much meaning physical and bodily harm. He means spiritual harm. Like once you commit yourself over to the Lord and your spirit and, and do and, and strive to constantly commit to him, um, even within our human weakness, um, you know, our spirits cannot be harmed. That's the goal. And that's what I believe Jesus is talking about in this context. Um, so anyway, um, he goes through, um, tells them that, and then he is taken up into heaven. Um, and now, you know, say, taking his seat at the right hand of God the Father. So yeah, everything's confirmed. And I think, again, it's a big deal um, as we are about to conclude our Easter season. And meaning we are also going to um, go into the challenges. So with that, the today the ascension of the Lord um, up into heaven where his physical body is no longer here. And the Holy Spirit is about to be pressed down upon us. Um, that is nine days before Pentecost Sunday. Um, so today is. So a challenge could be one. Um, you can start a nine-day novena um, today that leads up to Pentecost Sunday, um, which is the official end of the Easter season. And if you don't know what a nine-day novena is, if you just Google nine-day novena uh, leading up to Pentecost Sunday or something, you'll, you'll get something um, for that. Um, and then 
maybe another challenge could be, you know, because I don't want to sidestep and talk about our, our Mother Mary, um, but today is also the um, memorial of Our Lady of Fatima. Uh, so maybe do some research research on that and what all t- went down with that uh, back in, you know, which is the 20th century, not that long ago, 1917. Um and do some research on that and potentially check out the movie and watch the movie Fatima. Uh, it's really good. And believe it or not, it is based off of a true story. So, otherwise, have a great day. God bless. Keep it real. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, and Spirit.